This is tutorial number 23, and it covers the whole wizard feature within SOLIDWORKS. To start off, let's open up a new part file. Let's click File, click New, click Part, click OK. Now to start off, let's make a shape that we will put all of our holes into. Click Sketch, click Front Plane, click Rectangle. Select the origin and select a point outside of it. With a smart dimensioning tool, let's make this dimension 100 and let's make this dimension 200. Now let's click the feature, extrude base, and let's make it extrude out 20 millimeters. Click OK. Now we have our part that we're going to make all of our holes in. Now let's click the front view and click the front face. Now let's click the whole wizard function and with the whole wizard we're able to select a counter bore, countersink, a hole, a tap, a pipe tap, and a legacy hole. For now we're going to start off with a counter bore. So let's click this type and through all the options you're able to select what kind of hole you want to put in what kind of caps you want it to have, if you want it to have a hex cap, if you want it to have a socket head, it's up to you. And you're able to select the size. For this one, let's select M12, and then the fit. And you can choose close, normal, or loose. For this, let's just click normal. And you're able to select if you want it to go through all or up to a surface. For this, for all the ones that we're gonna make, we're just going to select through all. So click through all. Now click the position tab. Click smart dimension. And let's click the center of that to the outside. And let's make it 20 millimeters. And from the center to this line, let's make it 20 millimeters. Click OK. Click OK again. And now we've cut our hole through the part. Now let's click hole wizard again. This time let's make a countersink hole. And for this again we can select all the different sizes how we want it to work. Now let's click position. Click a position on the part with the smart dimensioning tool. Let's make this 5 and make this 5. Click OK. Click OK again. And now when we zoom in, we can see our hole. Now click Hole Wizard again. This time we're just going to make normal hole. And for the size, let's make it 17. And for the condition, let's make it go through all. Now let's click the position tab and click a position on the part. With the smart dimensioning tool, click the center, click this line, make it 25, click this line and click the center, and we'll make this 25 also. Click OK. Click OK again, and now we've made a hole right through. Now click Hole Wizard again. Click the tap. Now the tap is going to be a blind. The tap is just uh, it's a pre-cut hole if you want to do a drilling or if you want something else to go into it. So let's make the make it blind and let's make it go in just five millimeters. Now let's click the position, click it right there. Zoom in and with a smart dimension let's make it five millimeters from the edge. Click OK, click OK again and now when you zoom in you can see the tap goes in five millimeters. 
click whole wizard again. This time we're going to make a pipe top. And the blind, we're going to make it 10 millimeters. Click position, click a point on the part, zoom in with the smart dimensioning. Let's make it 10 and 10. Click OK. Click OK again. And now we can see that we made a pipe top. Now click hole wizard again. And let's make the legacy hole. Click position. Click the smart dimensioning tool. And we'll make this 10 and 10 also. Zoom in, click OK, click OK again, and we've made our legacy hole. And this concludes our tutorial with the whole wizard function.